Hey guys, Andy here. I'm really quite excited for today's unboxing. Um, a lot of the unboxings I do there, I don't know, maybe they're budget devices I've bought just for to play with and see what they're like. Maybe they're devices I've borrowed off somebody, hopefully. Um, but you know, I'm just again just curiosity or sh to show you guys. But um, every now and then I'm unboxing what's going to be hopefully my daily device, and that is quite exciting. And at the same time, when you hear such good things about a device and your expectations are that much higher. I'm really quite excited. So, I mean, even last night, I didn't sleep all that well. I think I woke up at about one o'clock in the morning and my brain starts thinking about all these different things and including the phone. I got back to sleep, thankfully, but then I woke up again about five o'clock, quarter past five this morning, and then I couldn't get back to sleep. I just lay there for a few hours and then I went down the gym. Um, but now it's here, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So I do have a bit of a history with notes. I know some people, I think we're a little bit surprised that I've gone for the Note 9. I've not waited for the Pixel 3 XL. But I want to rewind. I've actually been going back through my history uh, of kind of the Note. And I had the Note 1, what was that, six years ago, seven years ago, whatever it was. Seven years ago, I think. And I was look, looking back, it was on a different channel, but I did the unboxing and the review. And it is quite amusing, you know, how, uh, how hyped it was for a Note 1 that had... Let's see, what was it? So it had a 5.3 inch screen, it was 1280 by 800, and I was like, oh, wow, 800 pixels, that's amazing. It had a 2,500 milliamp hour battery, I think I called it massive or something like that at the time. Uh, it had a dual core 1.4 gigahertz Cortex A9. Um, and what I do realize was Android back then was ugly AF, it really was. I mean, at the time, I don't think you really noticed, you just sort of, you were more about the functionality, and it was functional at that point, I would say, but it really was ugly. So maybe I'll even link to the, my original Note 1 unboxing um, just so you can kind of have a look at that. But the Notes 1, 3, and 5, definitely. I can't remember about the 2, and I couldn't find any videos on it. Uh, but definitely my dailies. The Note 4 only missed out because um, I think at work we just changed to using Google Apps. And the Nexus 6, the new operating system that I had, allowed me to encrypt it, and I could put work on it. And Note 4, I couldn't. So again, I was watching. My, I did a couple of videos again, like the Note 4 against the Nexus 6 and the Note 5 against the 6P. And the Note 4, I basically said it won most of the categories. I said it's a better device, but I, but in the end, I ended up using the Note, the Nexus 6. Um, so I am I am actually a big Note fan. I did have a Note 7 on order, and then they started bursting into flames, and I cancelled my order. Annoyingly, I cancelled the order just before Carphone Warehouse started giving out 50 pound vouchers because of it. Anyway, um, and then. So I cancelled that and I bought the Pixel XL, and then it was a quite a natural natural progression to go to the 2 XL, uh, and I skipped the Note 8. So that, the Note 8 was the first one, really, apart from maybe the Note 2, that I decided, you know, I'm not going to get that, I'm going to buy something else. So as I think about it, it wasn't didn't really surprise me that much that I thought, do you know what, actually, I want to get a Note 9, um, especially when we see how much like press it's getting, how which is how good it sounds uh, like it is. So. It's available in 128 gig, <laughs> that's the smaller version, or 512 gig. Now, I, I mean, even 120, I had the Pixel in 128, only because the alternative was 32, and I thought 32 probably is a bit small, but my 2XL is 64 gig, and I've got plenty of room left. I just don't, I stream a lot of stuff, I download what I need, and I delete it again after a lot of time, I suppose, but generally I just stream. So, and the weird thing is, I, uh, so I've got 120 gig, and then I also thought, well, I've got an SD card slot now, so let's, let's go and buy a, 128 gig SD card. Why did I do that for? <laughs> 250. I, I won't use 256 gig in my lifetime, probably. Anyway, so there we go. So the box itself, we've still got all the cellophane on, but it's interesting. It's just the front is just the S Pen. Can you see that with the shine? Let's 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 cut our way in. Now perhaps you can see a bit better. So the front is just the S Pen, which is interesting. It feels, uh, it feels slightly textured. The box, there we are. Also, I'd like someone to explain why they took the space out. So I'm fairly sure, can you see that? I'm fairly sure it was the Note Space 8. But now, from what I can tell, Samsung call this the Note 9, all like one word. Um, so it is new and boxed, but I actually bought this one on eBay, because as I mentioned, they're 120 gig and two, uh, 512. The 128 gig, oh no, this, there we go. Um, 128 gig is still 900 pounds. I think, I honestly probably never believed I would buy a 900 pound phone. Um, the 512 is like uh, 1,100. But 
so yeah, nine pack ooh, quite a lot. And as I'd kind of decided I was going to go for the Note Nine, eBay were having like this fifteen percent off anything on eBay with a certain code. I had like I, I found it with like twenty five minutes to go, so I found this guy selling it for eight hundred twenty. His his I assume it's his upgrade. Um, so with I got fifty pounds off because of the voucher, so it was seven eighty. So I thought no seven seventy or maybe it was eight thirty. I don't know. It was around there. I think I paid seven eighty. Um, and the guy was he really good comms, really really. Really nice guy. Um, said he would pick it up first thing Friday morning. Release day was yesterday, and he said he'd send ship it to me uh, Saturday delivery, be guaranteed before one from yesterday. And it's and it has arrived. So I really appreciate it. I did say to him, "I'm a YouTuber. Do you want me to pimp anything?" But he never actually replied. Um, but I do appreciate what he did for me. So in we go. I quite like the old nice foldy, foldy box. I didn't mention the colour. So I've got midnight black. Um, it's also available in. A blue, I forgot what the blue's called. Have I got it in my notes somewhere? Maybe I don't. Uh, it's available in a blue and like a lavender, I want to say. I think there's a copper version, but I don't think that's available in the UK. Um, the blue, if I'm honest, I probably would have preferred the blue. It's got a nice highlighted yellow S Pen uh, and it generally looked quite nice, but the guy had a black and there was there was another blue one, but it's about £30 more. I thought, I don't think it's £30 worth uh, more. So there it is. First impression, just looking at it, it's, it's kind of thinner and taller. I always kind of picture notes as just being a massive big slab, but it's quite tall and thin. It does feel quite weighty, but it does feel good in the hand. It feels like a very nice device. So let's just pull that aside for a second and see uh, what else is in the box. So an adaptive fast charging power brick. Oh, with a USB underneath it as well. Oh, that is the USB, sorry. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, okay, that's a USB Type-C like OTG adapter by the looks of it. And that's, I'm assuming a micro, yeah, micro USB. Okay, that's nice that they include them in the box. The OTG, that could be handy. I mean, mind you, again, I've got so much space. Oh, AKG headphones, that's interesting. I did have an AKG microphone, it was pretty good from, I mean, I don't know these sort of products, but from my understanding is that AKG are pretty good. I don't, normally I don't, I don't break out the headphones, I've got my own, so I don't know if I'll, are they, oh no, so yeah, of course it does have, big selling point, three and a half mil jack. What else have we got in here? Some different um, earbud sizes. Oh, some nibs for the S Pen and the USB Type-C cable now, which I've got plenty of charge for that. I will break out the block to test the charging speed, though I should do that with the official. And I'm assuming, I'm not going to, shall I, shall I even look? I won't worry, that's just going to be the all the stuff we already know about. So, let's pop that aside. So what have we got protecting? Got a back cover. They do, so did, I noticed this on the unboxing from the original note. There was like bits of plastic all around it. That is, I mean, look at that. I think that's gorgeous looking, isn't it? How do we get? So there we have it, all unwrapped. Take a quick look around the device. So just the power button on the right hand side, because on the left we have the volume rocker and the Bixby button. Now, I'm actually gonna try and use Bixby. I've watched a few videos of people saying, it's actually not too bad now. I mean, I still kind of have this whole, this Google Assistant, why do you need to make your own thing? But it looks like Bixby has its place, it has its uses, like just quickly changing settings, for example, which Google Assistant might not be able to do. So already you can see a bit of a fingerprint magnet. On the back, the two lenses, um, they're, they're both 12 megapixel, I believe, yep. And the main one is f1.5 and f2.4. Um, it can change between, you may have seen their adverts on the telly, uh, where the iris actually ch 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 changes size depending how much light it needs to let in. One of the sort of big differences in some ways, I suppose, uh, to the Note 8, they've moved the fingerprint sensor now. So it's, I mean, that's, that's quite high actually. Having used the ZX2, XZ2, where it's about there, my pixel's probably about there. There's a bit of a reach, but 
we'll see how we go. On the top, it looks like we have noise cancelling mic, we have the sim eject or sim tray. In fact, let's just grab, so let's just take the sim tray out and see what we do have in there. So, micro SD and just one sim, I think. I don't think that's a dual, a dual sim. Okay, that's fine. Pop that back in. On the bottom, uh, the three and a half mil jack, the Type C charging ports, and I guess the speaker. So it has apparently got stereo speakers, which apparently are very loud. And of course, the S Pen. Now, the S Pen is one of the other big changes to the Note 8 in that it's got Bluetooth built in. You've probably already heard about this, but it's got Bluetooth built in, it's got a superconductor in there. You pop it in for 40 seconds and it will charge the S Pen for 30 minutes use. That's, that's pretty crazy, really. Um, and even then, it's only 30 minutes of the Bluetooth element. If you want to just use it as a pen, you obviously keep going. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need the Bluetooth to do that. But if you want to use the functionality of the button, um, then you need the Bluetooth. And so if you imagine, even when you run out, you've all you've got to do is pop it in for 40 seconds, and it charges. I think that's fantastic. It is a glass front. It's Gorilla Glass 5. The screen itself is 6.4 inches. I'm going to start booting it up at this point, hopefully. The screen itself, uh, 6.4 inches, it's 2,960 by 1440. That is craziness. So that's 18.5 by 9 ratio, a little bit of a weird ratio in some ways. Uh, 516 pixels per inch. That is ridiculous. Um, it's HDR10 compliant, I've got to be honest, I don't entirely know what that means. And it's got an always on display because it is a Super AMOLED screen. Hi there! So, uh, what else can I tell you about? The front facing camera is an 8 megapixel f1.7. Uh, it says it's got dual video recording. I don't know quite what that means. I'll have to look into that. The front facing, well, the rear facing camera, just coming back to that, can film uh, two, no, 4K, 2160p at 60 frames per second. That's pretty impressive. So, even 1080p can do 240 frames per second. That's very impressive. The front-facing camera will do 1440p at 30 frames per second. I think someone else was saying, maybe I was watching Mr. Mobile or something like that, that is, it is the only front-facing camera that will do, I think that's 2K. No other ones on the market will do 2K. Uh, we should have Android 8.1, or the other thing, well, I suppose two things that I've not really mentioned. Well, actually, there's a lot of things I've mentioned, so we'll get to it. So, I just caught a glimpse of the battery specs on my spec sheet, 4,000 milliamp hours battery. <coughs> Excuse me, battery. That is impressive. So the Note 8 was 3.3, three, and I did have to, <laughs> when I heard they put a 4,000 million battery in it, hang on, the Note 7 was exploding and bursting into flames because they'd crammed too much battery into it, and they've just put another like 500 million hours into the Note 9. But apparently they've got water cooling. Water cooling in a phone, but by all accounts, works amazingly well. And the battery life, by what I'm hearing, fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to testing that out. Now, I realize I've not actually gone through the sort of the main the main specs. So the chipset is an Exynos 9810. I've got to be honest, I don't know what that means. It's the equivalent of the Snapdragon 845, which would be the sort of US and China and things like that. Um, the CPU itself is an octa-core 4x2.7 gigahertz Mongoose M3 um, and a 4x1.8 gigahertz Cortex-A55. The GPU is a Mali G72 MP18. I don't particularly know what that means either. So very interesting when I do some benchmarks, which I'll do later in this video. Uh, it's got an iris scanner, obviously it's got NFC, um, and it's also IP68 dust waterproof, which is up to one and a half meters for 30, sec uh, 30 seconds, 30 minutes, which is pretty good. So I think at this point, this is when I log into everything. Um, I'll install a couple of bits like uh, Geekbench, and then I will come back to you. Just briefly interrupting uh, my setup process to, to see this, I suppose. Setup Intelligent Scan Security. So it uses a combination of your face and your iris scanner, apparently. Um, so I thought we'd stop and have a look. So let's, let's do... So, a smarter way to verify. So it says it's registering my face. 100% face registered. Oh, scanning irises. Do I have to get closer? How does it? Hold far further away. Fair enough. Sorry. Whoa. 
says it's been set up successfully and we're on to Google Assistant. So yeah, I just thought I'd stop to kind of, wasn't much to see I suppose in the end, but, <laughs> but quite interesting. Just another quick interruption because I'm going to try and transfer. Oh, so I assume this is um, Samsung software, Smart Switch, which it is apparently installing now. And then I'm hoping, there we go. Okay, so it does tell you you can use the little device that came in the box we were looking at just earlier. But I've got my C to C already. So you have to install Smart Switch on the donor device, could you call it? Whatever, the one you're copying from. Um, you have to make sure you haven't got USB debugging turned on. You won't normally, I do just because I use it for coding. Um, and you have to make sure it's set to file transfer. So once it's copied everything across from the phone, you unplug it, but actually it still carries on for quite a long time, basically installing all the apps. And what I didn't realize, it doesn't actually copy over app data. So I kind of wasted the time really. I should have just installed the app separately. Anyway, then I did the update, which was a security patch for August. So at least that's reasonably up to date. All right, so one thing I just got a little, what's this little thing? Apps and information at a glance. Instant access, okay. This is like the sidebar type thing, is it? Maybe we don't want to do this at the moment. That'll be in the review perhaps if I use it. So apps are ready and good to go. Um, I want to start off with, if I can find it, Geekbench. So I'm still using Geekbench. Oh, tap here to fill the entire screen. I saw that on another phone. I didn't, it's going to restart the whole app to fill the screen. Um, let's just kick it off. So initially I use Geekbench 3. I get a score both in that and then I'll update it to Geekbench 4. But all my historical data is in Geekbench 3. So uh, I've got more comparisons if I do 3. And I'm gradually building up historical data on Geekbench 4. So with this chipset and processor, I'm really not sure what to expect. It's moving very quick. Well, I suppose I'm, I'm expecting a high 9000 because that's what the XZ2 scored for Sony. And here we go. Maybe even a... Oh, okay. That's interesting. I was expecting higher than that, 8735. But uh, as I said, I will run it on Geekbench 4 and I'll, uh, I'll be putting the results of that in the actual review video. So I had to jump back in to record a bit. That you were just watching me from like two hours ago when I just Geekbench 3'd the uh, Note 9, but it updated to Geekbench 4. And actually, so whereas it was about a thousand points behind on Geekbench 4, Geekbench is on Geekbench 3. Geekbench 4 has got massive. So the Xperia XZ2, which would have been comparing against the Snapdragon 845, had scored 9,700 something in Geekbench 3, and it scored 8,200 in Geekbench 4. Well, so I thought it important to jump back in and tell you because you might see that Geekbench 3 result and think, oh, that's a bit underpowered. It doesn't even match up with the XZ2. Well, actually, wow, it really does. That's, that's an amazing Geekbench 4 score. So anyway, back to the video. So next we're going to take a look at YouTube, the screen, the speakers. It's going to take a little bit, you're getting used to having the volume rock over on the left hand side to be honest. And this is the first time I've heard the speakers, I'm going to skip in a bit. I would say that sounds very good, very good. The screen certainly looks great as well. So I've got to be careful there because YouTube don't like me using it. It's the visual they catch up on rather than the sound, which is a little bit weird. Um, but hopefully that's not too much that it gets it pulled down from, from YouTube. Um, so yeah, screen, I mean that screen, it looks, it does look fantastic. I'll get my light meter on it for the actual review and we'll see how bright it goes. But I mean, just the way it seems to have lit up when when we've gone into YouTube. Oh, I wouldn't even see what that said. Fine. All right, but still let me do it. 
that is that is crazy bright it really is um now i'm going to check the camera in a second but also let's try what happens when i press the bixby button at this point all right hello Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby. Great. You can talk to me anytime by saying hi. So, set screen time out to two minutes. Screen time out is set to two minutes. So that's where I see it being really useful. Instead of, uh, let's just try. Show me my battery power. So rather than having to search through the settings, which are a little bit, in fact, let's, let's quickly look at settings. So it is Samsung settings. It's a bit annoying. So I was looking, where, where do you see power in that? Nowhere. Because actually it's in about phone. Battery information. I just, I don't know, I just wouldn't have thought, even then it's not showing me... So I think Bixby could be really useful for that kind of thing. Like you just saw me changing the screen time out. Actually very easy. I have had it on charge while it's been installing everything. Okay, so I will, I'll probably do a separate video on Bixby to be fair, just to show you what it can actually do. Is it true that it's, it's that it's better, that it's improved? So then the next thing, or the last thing actually I think, Let's use, oh, it's me, hello. So it does have like intelligent scene detection or something weird like that. Obviously it's not really detecting, it's not gonna detect memory cards. That's a very fast shutter, I would say. Oh. And that generally looks, I would suggest, looks pretty good. Obviously, um, I need to do much better testing than that. I do like things that Samsung have for, for example, on selfie mode. Let's see if we can do it around the camera. Putting your hand up uh, initiates the, the actual shutter. Now, obviously, oh no, so I did take some uh, photos outside during the my break, so to speak. I took a quick still of the garden look to be very good um, took a quick bit of video just panning across the garden everything looks good so oh, and I also noticed there's like a times two button so you can switch I guess it's switching between the lenses basically so you can zoom in or zoom back out again which I can imagine can be handy I've never really used I always if I need to zoom in close on video I don't use the phone I use something else but yeah I can imagine actually that'd be really handy uh, I do want to try because we haven't yet pulled out the S pen or S remote Press the pen button to take pictures, control music. No, it's not. There we go. So we have all that. Now I say all the usual. Probably since I last used it, these have changed quite a lot. So you can just simply create a note. Testing. We don't particularly need to send that. I like the smart select type thing so you can. Oh. What are we looking at? Unlock with it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I do one actually. So you can unlock the phone using just the using the button on the S Pen. Uh, I'm clicking confirm without even reading that one. So we can just draw around it and then do things with that. Pin to screen, whatever, whatever. That's fine. And I think so. There we go. And even do an animated GIF of a of a video playing. We can change the the shapes. All pretty cool, I think. How much I'll actually use it, we'll wait and see. Screen rate, live messages, translate. Oh, add shortcuts, so there's others. Okay, well, again, we'll come to that in more detail, perhaps, in the review. Um, so, what it should happen, hold the button down. We launch the camera. So switch the camera's double, which obviously we probably we want front facing anyway. And then one single press. Oh, hang on, swipe up or down, switch in. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. 
and I'm going to press once more. Whether or not I'll ever use that, I don't know, but I do like it. It's cool. It is cool. So I don't actually know. I've done so many little different bits of. Actually, I want to just check one last thing. The sort of writing when the screen is off, we pull the pen out. So I don't even know. Yeah, bit bit bit. Discard. It's fine. I just wanted to kind of. I, I like the idea of that that you can just scribble away. So yeah, I don't actually know how long this video has gone because I've recorded it in so many different chunks basically. I think I might have gone quite long. But it is it is a fantastic device. It feels good in the hand. It feels really well made. It feels very fast. The camera looks great. The speakers are fantastic. The screen is amazing. Um, everything. Everything thus far sort of justifies and backs up I suppose what a lot of the other people have said. Um, obviously I'm going to use this for a week or so and I'll do the actual review. If you haven't subscribed, please do, to make sure you don't miss out on other videos that I'll do. I've already got some cases I'm going to try. Like I said, I'll do a Bixby video. I'll be doing video, like 4K video sample footage. There'll be quite a lot of different videos if you're interested in the Note 9, so please do subscribe. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you have any questions for the actual review, do drop them in there and I'll try and remember to answer them. Also, I'll try and generally answer most comments unless they're ridiculous. Uh, so do, you know, if you've got any comments, please let me know. Uh, but for now, my name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon. Well done and thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe. Um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also, come have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or requests me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.